Hi guys, welcome to my final bunting triangle tutorial. So this is the ultimate challenge and it's going to be for my grapes crocodile stitch triangle here. And if you want to know all about the bunting triangles and what bunting is even for, then head to my website at happyberry.co.uk forward slash cal, C-A-L. And uh, yeah, so let's begin. For this project, we're using a DK, a light worsted weight yarn. Uh, it's a yarn weight of three and I've chosen purple and green, so it looks like grapes. But you can use any yarn that you like really for this project. But I'm using a four millimeter G crochet hook with this yarn. And it's also a good idea to have a pair of seasons Seasons, <laughs> a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the purple to begin with. So this is a fiddly one, but I reckon you guys can handle it no matter what your level. Let's give it a go, shall we? So we're gonna start off with the purple yarn and we're gonna chain 12, chain 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Right, so we've chained 12, not too difficult so far. And we're going to do two treble crochet in our eighth chain from our hook. So a treble, this pattern's in US terminology. So a treble in UK terminology, it's going to be a double treble. So to do a treble, we have to yarn over twice on our hook. We wrap it round twice. Then we need to find the eighth chain from our hook. So we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one down here, we're gonna put our hook into there, bring the yarn through, and then when we do a double crochet or bigger in US terminology, we just yarn over and pull through two until we get to the end. So we're gonna yarn over, pull for the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And the good thing about this project is there's no color changes until the very end, so it's not like our last video. <laughs> we want two of those. So again, wrapping the yarn around our hook twice, go back into that same eighth chain, and then pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay. Then we're gonna chain two, chain one and two, and we're going to do one treble crochet, just the one in the last chain. So wrap the arm around your hook twice and find the very last chain at the beginning, which is about here somewhere. And in there, we're going to do just the one treble crochet. Again, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so you've got something that looks like this. It looks very strange at the moment. But then what we want to do is we want to turn our work and we're going to work five double crochets. So in UK terminology, that's just a treble. Five double crochet around the second treble post. Okay, so the second treble post is this one. This is our first treble. This is our second treble and part of this V. So what we want to do is you want to work five double crochet around this post. And to do that, it, we're going to go from one side to the other around the back. I'm going to go from one side and go underneath so you've got this treble post on top of the hook. And we're going to grab the yarn and bring that underneath. Then we just do a double crochet. Okay, and we want to do five of those we want to just keep going below it. So we want that to stay at the top. So then go to the right of it again, go then go to the left, get it on top of your hook. Again, grab the yarn, bring it underneath, do another double crochet. And eventually what you can do is you can just lift up this treble and just work them around the treble. You're effectively doing the, the double. Ugh the treble. <laughs> so you're doing the same thing, you're just going from one side to the other, grabbing the yarn, doing a double crochet, just moving them up and do one or more. Okay, so you end up this kind of fan effect. And if I flatten it back out again, it should look like this. You've got all these double crochets sticking off that treble that's now hidden. 
Then we want, we want to do is five double crochet around the next treble, but to do that you want to turn your work upside down because trying to do it this direction is going to be very complicated and you'll end up a bit looking wrong. So what we want to do is yarn over to begin with and then turn your work upside down and then find this next treble and we're going to start at the bottom this time which is now the top. And again go from the right hand side to the left, get it on top of your hook grab the yarn and bring it underneath, do a double crochet and again we want five of these, so that's one you can just hold on to that treble post like that and then just go from one side to the other two three four and five okay so now we're turning it back around the other way we should have something that looks like that and now you've suddenly got a crocodile stitch that's it so that was our first treble and our second treble post is hidden there our second one's hidden underneath there now so we did five double crochets and ended up on the bottom turned upside down and ended five the other side heading back this way and it looks like this so if you got this far well done you've just done a crocodile stitch and then what we're going to do, we're going to slip, sti slip stitch in top of the chains at the end. So this last group of chains on the end, we're just going to find any one of those near the top and just slip stitch into there. And that is the end of our first row. And we're only doing two more rows after that. So row two, what we're going to do now is we're going to chain six. So chain six. So one, two, three four, five and six. We're going to turn our work, okay, turn our work and at the back it should look like this. You should have these, these are the chains at the end and this was the treble at the beginning from that side and they sort of end up sitting behind the uh, crocodile stitch now. So what we want to do is we want to find these chains here, these ones here that we slip stitched into we're going to do two treble crochet around these chains. So we're going to yarn over twice. It's the same as what we did with the double crochets. We're just doing it with a treble. So we're going to go from one side to the other and grab the yarn and bring it underneath. Then we just pull through two until we get to the end. Two. Okay, we want to do two of those. So yarn over twice. Again, go from one side to the other. Grab the yarn and bring it underneath. Pull through two. Okay, so you end up with this V that's sat on these chains. And then we want to chain two. And then we want to do another treble, but this time in the centre of this crocodile stitch. So this big hole here, big gap, put a hook there and do a treble in there. Double treble in UK terminology. Okay, then we chain two again. And then we're going to work two treble crochets, so yarn over twice, two treble crochets around this treble post here, this group of stitches here. If you remember from the beginning, we had these trebles and we want to work two treble crochets around that. So we go from one side to the other, make it sit on our hook, bring the yarn through, then pull through two till you get to the end to do a treble. We want two of those. Then we're going to chain two and do another treble around the same post. Okay, so you end up with something that looks like this. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and we're going to do five double crochet around the second TR post. So we're going to leave this one on the end, we're going to find this next one. Just going to grab that because it's easier just to grab that and then put your hook underneath it, that post, come out the other side and do a double crochet. You want five a double crochet around there. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so ends up looking like that. 
And then this next one, we want to do five double crochet around that. But what you want to do is yarn over first and turn your work upside down. So you want to start this end. I'm just going to grab that post, do five double crochet around that post as well. That's one. Two, move them down. Three. four and five okay and then turn it back around the right way we've done a crocodile stitch like that what we want to do is slip stitch in that middle tr so this treble here top of there we're going to slip stitch into there and then we're going to do the same another crocodile stitch around these two so find this next treble let's grab that post and work five double crochets around that one, two, three, four, five. Then again, we're going to yarn over and find the next post here. I'm going to turn our work upside down, second to last one. Work five double crochet around there. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, then turn it back around the other way. And then these last chains at the end, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of those to finish. And there we go, that is row two. Okay, so moving on to the next row, we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to turn our work, and it should look like this at the back. So you should have a row of chains there, and then a treble in the middle, and then this group on the end as well, so these three posts. So you want to do two treble crochet around the first group of stitches here. So yarn over twice, then grab this post here and do two treble crochets around there. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. That's one. I'm going to do another treble. Okay, so we've done two trebles around this chain, a group of chains here. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to do a treble in the middle of our crocodile stitch. So this is this center here, this big gap here, do a treble in there. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to do two trebles around this center treble post, this one here. So I'm going to grab that post, hook underneath it, do two trebles around there. So that's one, then another one. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to do one treble in the middle of the next crocodile stitch. So this gap here, do a treble in there. Then we're going to chain two and do two trebles around this last group of chains here. So it's one and another treble. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to do another treble, just the one around these this post again. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, and then what we want to do is turn our work and do our next crocodile stitch. So we're going to ignore this post here and find this next one here. Going to grab that. Back to double crochet. We're going to do five double crochet around this post. One, two, three, four, and five. And then yarn over 
and then find this next post, turn your work upside down, grab that post, and then we're going to work five double crochets around that post. Okay, so grab that post, five double crochets around there, starting at the bottom, which now becomes the top. Two, three, four and five. Okay, then turn your work back round and you've done your crocodile stitch there. And then what we want to do is we want to slip stitch in the next TR. So this one in the middle is coming out of this crocodile stitch. You want to slip stitch into there. Like so. And then we want to do five double crochet around the next treble post. So these two here, we're going to grab this one on the right, do five double crochet around there. Just one, two, three, four, five, then yarn over, turn your work upside down and find the next Oh, well, hang on, I need to get my bearings. So, it's because that's that way. So, we're down at the bottom, we find this next treble here. And then yarn over, holding on to that post. We're going to work five double crochet around there. Starting from the opposite end. So, one, two, three. And five. Then we're going to slip stitch in the next treble. So this one coming out of this crocodile stitch, we're going to slip stitch into there. And then we're going to work five double crochet around the next treble post. So this one here, so grab this one and do five double crochet around there. One, two. Four and five. And get your bearings by pulling that down. And finding this next post here, grab that and work five double crochet around that. So yarn over this one here. Five double crochet around there. One. Two, three, four, and five. Then with it the right way up, we find this last group of chains at the end, and we're just going to slip stitch into the top of those chains. And there we go, that is the end of our crocodile stitching, and hopefully, it looks something like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're just going to finish off with a little bit of green. We're going to join some green yarn. Just join that in a little chain one. Turn your work and we're going to do five double crochet in the middle of this crocodile stitch here. So find this gap here and just do five double crochet in there. So five double crochet in the center of that crocodile stitch. Then find your next crocodile stitch in the middle here, the big gap in there. We're going to do five double crochet in there as well. One, two, three, four, and Five, five double crochet in there, or trebles in UK terminology. Then the very last crocodile stitch, find that gap there and do five double crochet in there as well. One, two, 
Oui. Cool. And five, and then just to finish up, we're going to slip stitch just in the edge. So just find sort of edge of that crocodile stitch. Just sort of slip stitch in there, just to neaten that off. And that's it, we can cut our yarn. And our purple as well. Where is our purple? Let's pull that loop through. Turn it over, and hopefully you've got something that looks like that. So I'm gonna hide my tail ends, gonna add a tassel. I think I'll add another green tassel like I did this one. And uh, so that's what the back of it looks like. And then you get this grape effect on the front. So then I shall come back and show you the finished triangle. And there we go, there is the finished grape crocodile stitch triangle with its tassel. I've got two of them now. So I really hope you managed to follow along. It definitely was a fiddly and complicated one, but I think you can do it. Please slow down and pause the video. But all the written versions of these triangles are on my website at happyberry.co.uk forward slash cal, C-A-L, if you want to go check them out. And then join me in my final, final video where we join all these bunting triangles together that we've all been making over the last few weeks and I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!